strontium also has a very broad application in forensics. So here's an example on the strontium signature of heroin. This uh, study was done at the University of Miami. As you can see, the heroin is produced in different regions of the world, like Central America, South America, Central East Asia, and Central West Asia. We are showing different strontium isotopic signatures. And this help us if they, some federal agency, they confiscated the, some codex, they can analyze the strontium and being able to understand uh, where those material potentially are coming from. This is another interesting study. This is measuring strontium isotopic ratios in human hair. The study has been done in one of the school districts in New York. And they found out that different age levels, they are showing different strontium signature in their hairs and different ethnicities also, they are showing different strontium signatures. These are the average, the red lines showing the, uh, the average of the values. And as you can see here, like uh, on the ethnicity graph, the African-Americans, they are showing the distinct signature and you can separate them from the Asians or, or from the Filipinos. This is like a very nice and interesting study. You can also use the strontium isotopes to study the food fraudulent or the, you know, the authenticity of the, of the foods. Here is a, another nice example that's been done in Italy. The open boxes denotes the strontium signature of the geological units and the solid blocks are showing the strontium a signature of the wines produced in every region. Normally, this is what you want to see. You would expect the, the wine mimics the strontium signature of the geological setting because basically wine grows out on soil and rocks and they have to represent or mimic the signature of the rock. However, in some cases like these two, you see the deviation from the, the signature of the wine deviates from the signature of the geological unit. This may be due to the different water resources, or you may growing your grape in certain region, but your water is coming from another you no know, groundwater aquifer. So you may get different signature or you are simply mixing your wine with the uh, wines from other regions. So strontium ratio has this application as well. You can use it to see whether your food or your beverages are reflecting the background signature of the region or not.